video we're going to go over some basic posing tips for the Netherland Dwarf breed. Um, there's been a lot of uh, struggle to get the ideal pose um, out of rabbits that, that one, are not structurally built to pose correctly and, and with rabbits that are just not comfortable with posing. So with some practice on your behalf and some uh, mild training on the rabbit's behalf, you should be able to get a pretty good pose out of most rabbits. Um, the number one thing to remember when trying to pose um, an upright breed, especially, is that they, they will pose how they're built to pose. So if they do not have the correct structure, then you're not going to get the same pose out of them as you would see a show rabbit on, you know, on the table. Um, so when you're trying to mold your rabbit into this you know, picture you have in your head, you have to remember that certain structure faults might be preventing them from sitting exactly how you want them to sit. So uh, we're going to start with this little chestnut junior doe. She's pretty much a self-poser uh, because she's, she has the proper structure to pose upright. Um, but just to get an idea of where your hand should be and just some tips, um, I, I want to start with a self-posing rabbit. So as you can see, she's pretty much in a pose. It's not as um, cleaned up as it could be. Um, I like to give the rabbit some time to check out the table and get comfortable. And then uh, I, I like to work slowly with the Netherlands dwarfs. I find if you are moving your hands around too fast and they get too excited and they'll try to nip you or they just lose interest. So it's really important to remember to just, you know, use gentle hands. So first thing I do, um, I pose with the rabbit facing towards my right, um, but you are looking at it as if somebody that poses to the left. So um, I start with my dominant hand on the, with, near the head, and then my left hand um, controls the back end of the rabbit. So usually I start by putting my left hand on the hind quarter of the rabbit. My thumb usually grabs this little nook inside their ankle and pulls that back foot into the right spot. So right here is that nook. And for rabbits that tend to you know, slide their back foot forward, I just slide that back a little bit. The idea is to get these toes in line with the hip. So after I square off the hind quarter, I reach around to the other side I can't see and use another finger to make sure that foot is not all the way forward. Um, and then I slide my hand up to the shoulder and gently just pick the rabbit's front end off the table just a little bit because they are supposed to pose upright, but the standard doesn't want them to put completely on their tiptoes. Um, so uh, resting gently on their feet. So I pick up the shoulder just a little bit um, in, in case they're laying too much on the ground. And then I continue to square off the hind quarter and make sure the feet are staying in the right spot. Checking the shoulder. Um, the idea is to get the front foot in line with at least the eye. A lot of the times you'll see the rabbit with either the front feet out here, which if you look, these toes are completely in front of the, the rabbit's head, which is not ideal. And as you can see, I'm just doing tiny short motions. I'm not shoving, I'm not pulling, I'm not pushing, I'm not shoving the rabbit down, I'm not scrunching it together. I'm just doing tiny little touches to encourage the rabbit to sit in a, a more correct pose. Another movement I do is with my right hand, I sort of touch the front of the face, and this is kind of the key to getting them to pull it all together to finish the pose. Um, you get them to pull their head in so that their head's not slouching forward, which is a pretty big problem. People seem to be able to get the back foot right, they get the front foot right, um, they get everything else right, but the rabbit is still slouching forward, which kind of spoils the pose. So um, by, by just keeping my hand in front of the face like this and touching the whiskers, it, keeps, it, it causes the rabbit to pull itself in. Um, for difficult rabbits, I, I tickle the nose a little bit, and you can see she kind of jerked on. So after I do the, I get the rabbit to pull itself in and finish the pose. Um, that's that's pretty much it. Um, you know, you continue to square off the hind quarter. Um, sometimes the rabbit, you'll you'll step back and you'll look at it and you'll see some hollow spots or you'll see something that just looks awkward, and you just go back in and you you adjust some things. Um, you know, squish them together a little more as long as you're keeping the feet in the right spot. 
um, a, a good guide to learn is that the eye should be in line with the top of the back. Uh, shouldn't be above it, uh, which would be the rabbit posing too high. Um, and you don't want the eye to be below it because that would be the rabbit posing too low. Um, so when the standard asks for the rabbit to be sitting, resting gently on its front feet and not on its tiptoes, um, that's how that's how you know. So um, this right here would be just a little bit too low for this this rabbit. Um, that would be way too low, as you can see. Her eye is, is underneath the top of her back, um, and and this would be too high for this doe. Her eye is above her back now, um, with with a pretty good gap between her eye and the top of her back, and. Both of those can spoil the rabbit. Um, one can spoil the, the low. The low pose spoils the shoulder, um, and the high pose can spoil the top line, making them look like they drop off too quick. Um, so another thing I like to do is I, I wiggle and shimmy the rabbit uh, just to get them to really sit in themselves, sit in their depth, um, and really make them look good and show off their their victory. And I like to fluff up the tuppies in the back, and I like to pinch the ears together a little bit so that one ear is not cocking one way. And um, these are just little things that I do to finish up the, the pose before I take a picture. I, I brush down the brow, I brush down the fur on the back, so nothing is sticking up. Um, all little things you do so that you don't get that perfect shot and then realize that a tuft of hair is sticking up. Um, so that right there, I like pretty well for this rabbit. Um, some rabbits do naturally pose a little high, and she does tend to do that. Um, and some rabbits naturally pose lower, and that's um, because of shoulder fault size. Either the shoulder is, is too low, or there's a hook spine, or something um, like that. So, you know, if, there, if you are consistently not getting a rabbit to sit up, then you need to reevaluate what might be going on with the rabbit. It's not just you can't pose very well, or that the rabbit can't pose very well, it's that the rabbit literally physically cannot pose correctly. Um, so you have to decide whether or not that is a an issue you are willing to breed with. Another thing I, I like to do to get the rabbit to finish their pose is you can tickle the muscle right um, on their hindquarter right here and you can see her twitching um, right above the, the pin bones and that kind of gets them to pull themselves together a little bit. Um, So I can easily ruin this pose by sliding her back feet back, which would make her look too long, and that's called an under pose. Um, it gives her more length to the shoulder and the, the body, and it creates a hollow spot right here, which makes her look like she has no depth of shoulder. Um, and, and that can really spoil the overall look of a rabbit. I can also overpose her by scrunching that back and forward, which is what a lot of people um, do, either purposely or unknowingly. Um, and, and it looks bad for one, and it really spoils the top line of the rabbit. Uh, as you can see, she sort of just drops off real quick right about here, and then she just, you know, starts to curl under. This next rabbit I'm going to show you is a buck, so he's a little more excitable, um, a little more difficult to pose, doesn't quite sit up like the other doe does by himself. So if I just plop him on the table, he's going to sniff around instead of try to show himself off. So I use my right hand to sort of guide his head into the right position before I start working with his front end. So, um, the, the main goal is just to get him to keep his hind quarter in the same position um, the whole time until I can get him to sit still enough. Um, so I put my, my left hand on the hind quarter and, and try to keep him in the same spot. Okay, this is a buck that likes to sit up a little high. Um, as you can see, his his eye is a little above his back, um, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. I'd rather have a high posing rabbit than a, a very low posing rabbit, uh, especially in a buck. 
but so you can see I'm grabbing his shoulder, I'm picking up his legs just a tiny bit uh, to get them underneath his eye, and then I'm just gently touching his head to guide it into the right position. Um, so, so that's that's a decent pose. He's still pushing up a little too high, as you can see. He's extending his front limb a little too much. Um, so, I would just kind of shimmy the shoulder down a little bit, or I hold onto the hind quarter and I hold the head, and I sort sort of um, shimmy the head back and forth just a little bit. Try to get them to to pull their head in closer to their shoulder and sort of set the pose better, if that makes sense. So just like that, just a little bit. Some rabbits it works and some rabbits it, rabbits it doesn't. Okay, so that, that's, a, that's a pretty good pose for him. And again, I'm just showing you the same techniques just on a different um, type of rabbit that poses just a little differently. Um, it's mainly just getting a feel for the motions that your hands will make.